I've done a lot of like tutorials or videos where I mentioned, you know, use this for your hair or you know, apply this. And so I've been getting a lot of questions and asking that I've mentioned the product, but I didn't describe or explain how I put the product on. And I realized that that is pretty a pretty crucial part <laughs> of the product. So I'll just make a quick little tutorial or video on explaining how to use this product. So I've said before the Kirastas Elixir in the gold is my absolute favorite. And there's a lot of oil products that are great for the hair and leave you shiny, glossy, perfect hair or frizz-free hair. The only, I guess, problem with those is that it's kind of a quick fix and it works only on the outside. The thing with the Kirastas Elixir is that it works from the inside out, I think. So, I mean, not I think, that has been proven. <laughs> but, so what it's doing is the second you apply it to the hair, it's actually penetrating deep enough to fix and fill the broken parts of the inside of the hair, which is damaged, leaving you with long-term use, leaves you with actual better hair than you had before. So um, as you wash off the product, you are each time improving your hair little by little as opposed to just a product that sits on the hair and does its job, the second you wash it off, your hair goes back to its frizzy normal state. The challenge I think with getting this product on right is that people will, and I've noticed this a lot in the salon when people, you know, ask for a recommendation on a product and I'm like, oh, here you go, and I, you know, let them like pump and kind of feel it on their hands and it's, they'll have like a pea sized amount on these three fingers and they rub it and they like grab an end and they just apply and especially on blondes it just looks darker or because they've put so much in such a small concentrated area and you know they'll be like oh it's really heavy and or they'll ask like how did you apply it to make it um, not so like only in one area so the number one thing or my favorite way to apply this product is when the hair is damp like straight out of the shower and you towel dry and you pump a few you know pumps on your hand and you just like rub it together and the heat of your hands kind of activate the the product more so rub it in like all over like palms and everything and um, flip your hair or your head upside down and start working from the ponytail down to the ends and then slowly working your way up so kind of you know grabbing it at the ends and slowly working your way up as you have less and less product on your hand then you kind of come up because hair can still be damaged closer to the root especially if you're highlighting and lightening your hair obviously there is damage up here but you don't want to get a lot of product up here because that's where the hair is the newest so it's not as damaged and you don't want to weigh it down and get rid of volume with adding oil so so that's what I like to do concentrating on the ends and slowly working your way up so that by the time you do get to the top you have a lot less product on your hands so so that's what I like to do, and then I like to do a blowout or use any other product that you need, either for volume or whatever. So blow out the hair, then do the same thing, but with a much smaller pump, and again, rubbing it all over the hands. And this time, instead of just grabbing the hair and applying it kind of like this, you kind of like rub it through your fingers, so your fingers work as comb, and you kind of just kind of comb through, and so that you kind of get the sides of the hair with the product and not necessarily just patting it down. So that's my little trick and that is how I like to apply elixirs and just oils to the hair. I see this a lot of people that do have frizzy or thicker hair and they want to remove some of that bulk. Like I'll just see them pile on product and they just kind of like pat it down and that's not because then it's just the surface that's really flat but you can still see that there's bulk and that's then it doesn't give that hair, hair that movement and and shine that healthy hair has. It just kind of looks stiff because it's not moving because that outer shell is so just hydrated and kind of saturated with the product, but under it's still kind of still frizzy. So with a little trick before the shampoo and then the doing that combing through, you're kind of working on the sides of the hair, so all of it's kind of coming more together, And but you know, the surface that you see still is kind of scattered and not necessarily just patted down. So, uh, so yeah, so that is how I like to use elixirs, and there's other great ones too. Moroccan oil is a big favorite. 
um, right now and anything with Moroccan oil in it. The new thing now is anything with argan oil is great for hair. So that's another big favorite. So whatever your favorite is, you can just apply it that same way. So I hope that helped and may you have beautiful shiny hair with any elixir that with any elixir that you're using. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if this helped you. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye.